When I drove this car, I couldn't wipe the smile off my face. The RS7 is not only a hot looking car, but it offers up some smoking performance too. The kind of manic torque that pins you to the back of your seat comes with an equal balance of practicality in the form of yet another four door luxury sports saloon from Audi. Well, it's a fun car to drive, yes, it has uh, 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 it's, uh, predominantly it's an understeery car because of the, again, the four wheel drive system, but then you can, it does oversteer a bit if you want it to and if you provoke it. So, um, so quite, uh, quite easy to drive, well balanced. Uh, just the mass, the weight of the car is so much that it just spoils the fun on the track a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, again, uh, it's uh, because it was it's a pretty stiff car. I was expecting a better lap time, but that's not the case. And then it's again with all these cars, uh, you have just one lap, and they get too hot in the in the Chennai temperature. And um, I don't think they're meant for the track, to be honest. So the 553 bhp V8 that puts out a stonking 71.3 kgm of torque protested the Chennai heat and Narain pushing it to its limits around the track. But even that couldn't take away from Narain's enthusiasm about the way it put its power down. The only thing letting it down, however, was the almost two-ton of weight that it carries around. The car is certainly faster on the, uh, on the track, lap time wise, it's about uh, two and a bit seconds faster. But uh, I was expecting more, more, more performance, not performance, I was expecting a better lap time on the track. But the thing is, it's so heavy, the car, um, so and we're losing a lot of time in the, you know, getting in and out of the corners. Uh, because you feel the weight transfer and then it loads up the front and then it, it just washes out. But the, I mean, the engine is phenomenal, it's phenomenal, it's so strong all the way and um, has a lot of grunt. <laughs>